Think for a moment. As students, what were you afraid of? According to a study performed by the SW Research Agency among the students of Wrocław University in Poland, 73% of students are afraid of graduating from university and starting their own careers. In fact, these findings are well in line with other similar studies. Students are afraid of making career choices, especially now in the world where with competitive labor markets and endless opportunities, where there are no longer clear and straightforward career paths. According to the study, only 13% of them is actually secure about their professional choices. For the rest of them, making a career choice is a challenge. And they are likely to make bad decisions about their professional life. And uh, as a consequence, they could miss out once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, they could lose time searching for answers that are already there, and eventually end up stuck in jobs that are unsatisfying and boring. I'm a university lecturer and a researcher in the area of environmental engineering, and uh, in fact, to be honest, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Well, this is my dream job. But when I was a PhD candidate, I had a tremendously difficult time in my life. I was struggling with a lot of things at work and had very little understanding how the world, how the academic world works. Uh, well, it was really, really difficult, but um, at some point I was, uh, it was so bad that I actually was, felt so discouraged and uh, disappointed with the academic reality that I was very, very close to giving up science. Luckily, at this time, I could reach out to more experienced colleagues, my mentors, who uh, shared their experiences with me. They told me that they actually went through the same things that I did. And uh, they also told me that all the things I was struggling with, like university bureauc bureaucracy, um, lack of money for funding, um, failures in getting funding, and many, many more, they just come with the job of a scientist. And I had to accept that if I want to be in academia. In fact, uh, I wouldn't be here where I am now if it wasn't for my mentors. Today, I'm a mentor to my students, although I do have a lot of doubts and concerns if I am actually the right person to help young people prepare for the, for the life outside of university. And I shared these doubts and concerns with uh, some, of, some of my friends and colleagues who are also researchers and scientists from the Association of Top 500 Innovators and also Fulbright alumni. It turned out that actually they have the same observations as I did. We had like a lot of discussions and uh, at some point we came up with a conclusion that it is not common practice in academia to share own experiences with others. We also thought that this could be one of the reasons why we, um, it, it could be one of the reasons why actually students are so afraid of leaving the university and starting their own professional life. But we also thought that it could be changed if students, while still at university, could reach out to academics like myself and ask for help. Uh, however, um, from our observations, uh, we actually concluded that it is not happening very often. And as scientists, we wanted to know why. So we made a study and we asked academics from various Polish universities why we, academics, do not share our own experiences with others. And uh, we came up with a pretty long list, but we narrowed it down to three reasons. The first reason uh, that was on the list is time. Scientific work is not only about doing exciting experiments in the lab, but it is also teaching courses, writing papers, writing reports, doing commissioned work, uh, also running projects, applying for funding, and doing tedious administrative work. In fact, we had a lot of problems with uh, how to quantify the time we actually commit to our work. Uh, we also couldn't find any study that would give us uh, any information on time commitment of Polish scientists. So we also asked them how much time they devote to work. From our study, uh, it turned out that 47% of them uh, work more than 40 hours per week. And what they do? 
Uh, most of the time they spend on doing research, which is like 28%, teaching courses, 21%, also doing administrative work, 16%, organizational work, 13%, uh, applying for grants uh, and funding, 10%, and also supervising students. The second reason uh, that we have on the list is fear. From our study, we concluded that academics are afraid to be mentors to others. This could be because we have some doubts about the knowledge, the expertise, the skills that are needed to mentor students. In fact, uh, in fact, most of the academics that we talked to actually admitted that this is the reason why they do not engage into mentoring, because they, are, they feel unprepared to do so. Also, it turned out that 67% of them did not have a mentor when they were at university. Quite sad, I would say. Also, uh, we have some doubts uh, that our intellectual input into a mentoring relationship uh, will be used by others for their own benefit without giving the credit to us. Uh, it turned out that 44% of academics actually admitted that this is one of the reasons why they do not engage in mentoring at all. And also, as academics, we fear about our positions in the academia. Being aware of the competitiveness among scientists we will think twice before sharing our own ideas, observations, and thoughts with others. There is also a third reason why um, we academics do not share our own experiences with others, and it's motivation. Uh, based on our discussions, we actually concluded that, um, in fact, we are not sure why we should share our own experiences with others in the first place. Uh, in many occasions, we work um, alone, we put a lot of time and effort into our research, and uh, in fact, we do not see the point why we should make it easier for others, since we have to work so hard to be where we are now. So you have to admit that those reasons are justified. Sharing your own experiences with others is demanding, difficult, and risky. But providing the right environment to those academics who want to share with others, we could overcome some of those fears and concerns. So we came up with an idea to develop a platform where academics would feel more comfortable to share own experiences with others, with the students, and the students will be more, will easy, will be, uh, more comfortable to uh, ask them about help and advice. So in 2016, we started working on a mentoring program called Top Minds. And just a week ago, we launched the third edition of this program. So Top Minds is a mentoring program for students who seek the support and guidance in launching and building their professional careers. In fact, uh, they can use the help of mentors who are the Fulbright alumni and also the alumni from Top 500 Innovators. Uh, and, they use they and they use their help to overcome difficulties and, uh, and uh, face the challenges of the world outside of university. Also, they can, the mentees can also develop skills, social skills, by interacting with other mentees, mentors, and invited experts. What is more, the program of also offers uh, and overall support to mentors um, through specialized trainings and also workshops, as well as continuous individual support of certified mentoring advisors. In the first edition of Top Minds, I was a mentor to Piotr. Uh, Piotr uh, is a very talented um, student, passionate about environmental uh, microbiology, and his dream is to become a scientist. At that time, Piotr did not understand the reality of academic world. I told you before that being a scientist uh, is exciting, is rewarding, but also it could be stressful, overwhelming, and nerve-wracking, especially for a young scientist like Piotr. But this did not scare him away. Piotr wanted to learn the ropes and also make a plan towards his scientific achievements. As an outcome of our mentoring relationship, we came up with a five-year plan for him to grow as a scientist. Uh, although the program ended, um, although the, the, our mentoring relationship ended with the program, with the first edition, we still keep in touch and we have also many occasions to work together. 
but there are more examples like that. Dominic, an artist and physiotherapist um, through the program, uh, could overcome his shyness and fears of public appearances. What is more, he actually um, reached out to many professionals from industry, from music industry and also academia. And, um, and now they are helping him to grow as a composer and a singer. And in fact, you have this unique opportunity to listen to Dominic this afternoon. But not only mentees benefited from the program, but also mentors. For example, Marek, a cardiologist, uh, he and his mentee wrote a scientific paper and submitted a grant proposal. Um, their cooperation did not end with the program, but still they cooperate, still writing, they are still writing papers, uh, but they also became friends. As for me, uh, being a mentor um, is a chance uh, to actually show my gratitude for all the things that I received from others. Also, it gives me a lot of joy and personal fulfillment. I'm pretty sure that you will hear similar opinions from other Top Minds mentors. I would like to leave you with one thing today. And uh, it's, it's, about, it's about sharing. Do not have any doubts and concerns about helping others who are at the very beginning of their professional path, even though this help could just take a moment of your time. Helping others to achieve success gives as much satisfaction as your own growth. Thank you. <laughs>